Today we're talking social media. For some, it can help them land a job. Others can find themselves turned down just by what they post online. To help break down some do's and don'ts, we have Terry Alf, a business consultant, in our studio with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Such a timely and important topic. Oh my goodness. Yes, it is. Everybody is on social media, you know, and, and like we said, for good ways and bad ways. Let's start with the don'ts. What should people not be posting online? First and foremost, you never ever trash your boss, the company, your peers, mm -hmm. anyone at work. Yes. It does not uh, position you and your personal brand in the most professional light. And yes. people see it. Yeah, you never know who's <laughs> going to be seeing it. No. Like we were saying during commercial, you may not be friends with your boss on Facebook or you may not be following them on Twitter, but Somebody is. Someone's going to see it. Absolutely. A drop in the water becomes a tsunami mm -hmm. for something you would want put in the newspaper. Okay, what's tsunami. another reason not to, uh, what's another don't, I guess? Another don't. Um, emotional posts. Again, it's your personal brand, mm -hmm. so you want to think about the perception that you're putting out there. So it's a really good idea to, um, to not put anything personal or lash out mm -hmm. or anything like that. Nothing embarrassing. No, nothing you would want to see in the newspaper. Right. Ever. And um, drinking and posting and drinking and tweeting. Those don't go hand in hand. You shouldn't do that. No, <laughs> no. And if you're going to make your page private, yes, as well. I mean, you've got the big three: Twitter, Facebook, Facebook, mm -hmm. um, LinkedIn. And LinkedIn is a much more professional site. On Facebook, it feels very comfortable, and yet you feel like you have anonymity because you're behind the keyboard. Right. And the reality is you don't. And those friends aren't in the room with you, and what you're putting in there is actually written. Yes, it's so there. So it's there for, it's there for good. And you have no control over how that is used. Exactly. So. All right, well, let's talk about some good, some good uses All right. for social good. media, because there are several. Absolutely, networking. Yeah. Yeah, you, you need to let people know that you're looking for a job. Mm -hmm. um, let them know in a positive way what you can do. Mm -hmm. It's nice to support other people. It's a great thing to show that you're supported because that demonstrates that you're a good team player. Yes, exactly. Likeability is a big factor in determining often who's hired and who isn't. And I know we've talked about this before um, in the past, but a lot of bosses go to these sites. Uh, everybody before an interview. Googles you. Yeah when you're a candidate mm -hmm. absolutely and they can they can see it and you just have to really and I know I've said this twice you've got to think about your personal brand mm -hmm. I would look for articles that you're interested in that demonstrate your functional expertise okay. share them and write your own take on it and that will demonstrate your your experience your expertise it's a nice soft way to demonstrate what you can do and if you're a little worried maybe about what you do have out on social media you're applying for a job go through get rid of some stuff absolutely uh, clean it up I work with people and the first thing I do is Google them and if they're a yep. bachelor party Photos or exactly. bachelor party photos. Yeah, <laughs> I would say get them off. What's on a T-shirt? I mean, yeah, yes, that's what they're going to see. Exactly, and that's what they're going to remember. All right, yes. thank you so much. Oh, thank Do's you for and having me. Yes, thank you very it is much. Important. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Well.